Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. That is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, you know that I usually use my Radley Valentine decks. I will be using one this time. This is my Angel Tarot cards. It'll give us our main message. I'm going to pull one card from my Weight Rider tarot, traditional tarot deck. I'll also be pulling again my crystal energies from my Emily Anderson crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an int I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself up for, to higher power. Whatever needs to come through, comes through. Um, also, too, remember a couple of things. Uh, if a card comes up reversed, it's a little extra energy. So, you know, just know that it has a little more meaning to it. Also, too, when I speak about higher power, that is your guardian angel, your spirit guide, your voice of the universe, whoever that is for you. Okay? That is for you. Now, I am going to use my Osha Zen Tarot cards just to give us a little bit of an overview. We are in Mercury retrograde. It will be retrograde until the 18th, I believe. And then the post-shadow will continue. I think it's until the 30th or the 31st of October. We And, you know, all of this, there's a lot, a lot of Libra energy going on. We want to watch the second because something's going on. You know that Venus is in Scorpio, but there's something where Venus and Scorpio and Pluto so there's some um, interesting energies there. Uh, Scorpio, very intense. Venus, you know, goddess of love, relationships. Pluto has a very extra energy there. So, you know, there could be some, um, I don't know, there could be something that just kind of um, secrets come out. Ex ex uh, you know, things explode. Things type of, you know, type of energy with the relationships. So just be a little bit, be leery be wary of the second and relationships okay so let's go on and we're just going to pull three cards and generally i use these cards as advice cards so you know when i do my long readings i'll say you know osha zen what advice can you give us so let's see what we have here we're going to adjust the camera just a touch there we go so we can actually see what we have here well, I never know if these are reversed. I can tell you that they're all the same way. So let's see what we have here. First card. Okay, that these are all reversed. Now, here we have 10. This is all about rebirth. This is all about new beginnings, new starts. But again, this is something that is, you know, it's a spiritual rebirth. A lot of this time right now has a lot of spiritual energy going on. So however, and you know, however you manage that, but you know, there is, you know, there's the, uh, the beast, there's the lion, the lion is a little bit on the, um, you know, on the wild side, but then there is, I don't know, is this pan, is this, you know, this, there's a being that's using its flute and remember music soothes the savage beast, but this is all about rebirth. Now the numbers and remember numbers have a lot of meaning to it also. So I tell you to basically copy down the numbers, especially for your sign, put them in your search browser, throw angel numbers behind. And some people like to look at the numbers in Gematria also, and then see what the message is. Sometimes the numbers can be reversed. So here we have a 10 transition, new beginnings, new start, um, moving on, moving on. But again, this rebirth has, you know, there's, there's the energies, the, the energies are quite big, the energies are quite colorful, and yet at the same time, the spirit is being brought to another. So is this a separation? Um, you know, I don't know, I feel a lot of calmness and peace from the, the piper, and yet at the same time, the, um, you know, the lion looks like he wants to start roaring. But then, he's coming, they're coming from, I don't know, these camels, and there is the gray. So something's happening. There is a lot of energy pulling us up. I do want us to be very careful, especially going into, um, well, as we move further and further towards that thinning of that veil between the light and the dark, because I, do, I know we had the fall equinox, and that's about balance between light and dark, but I do feel that we are 
again, you know, you are part of the light. We need to keep our thoughts, words very positive because the that other darkness type of energy wants to try to consume. All right, let's go on here. Okay, that again is reversed. Here we have morality. Morality, this kind of reminds me, if we were going to be using, if this was going to be the um, our weight rider, then this would be, to me, the hierophant. This would be the one that's kind of being very rigid and locked in, not wanting to, actually not wanting you to have the rebirth. So there, again, I kind of feel that there's going to be a conflict, and maybe more so on that second. At the second between... A lot of the people, you know, we're in a we're in major ascension types of energy. We keep moving forward and forward, and yet at the same time we feel the struggle. We feel the struggle. We feel like, you know, something wants to keep pulling us back. And that's where morality comes in. I you know, and I'm not saying yes, we want to do what is right, but this morality is very is very strict, it's very locked in, it's very rule oriented. It's more about the rules than doing what is right, okay? So let's see what this one, and this one then will be reversed, so we will flip it. We are the world. We are the world. So a lot of that has to do with the, you know, with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. We are in this together. We Again, we have a 10, so we have a 1, 0, 1, 0, or you can look at it as a 0, 1, 0, 1. Sometimes the, one, you know, the zeros drop off, and it's a 1, 1. But we are the world. We are in this together. I do feel like there's going to be a conflict between the people that, the people, the souls, the spirits that are, you know, that are being, that are going more into the ascensions that are, you know, you, I don't know if you've been hearing about like the third, fourth, fifth dimension type of energies here. And many of, many of you, because I can't, you know, you talk to me and tell me this. Many of you have been feeling these changes and these, um, you know, you've been feeling and seeing it within yourself. So again, there is, you know, again, against the people, those energies that are very locked into whatever the, and it doesn't have to be, we're not talking necessarily about government rules, we're talking about what they believe to be, you know, it's like my way or the highway. But again, there is the reminder, we are the world, we are in this together, however, this is also the wheel of fortune. Things have to move forward, things have to change. And we will be doing this all together. Mercury retrograde, as I've told you many times before, I do believe has a lot of karmic, I don't want to say balance, because when we're totally balanced, then everything's negated. Everything is, um, you know, it's like, why are we going, you know, why do anything? But it is karmic um, rewards, sometimes karmic punishments also. But I do feel like there is, the universe wants to give blessings. So it kind of depends on where we're at and what we want to, you know, how we want to receive. So let's get started with our readings. Hello, my Geminis. How are you? Well, let's see what this weekend has for us, okay? Okay, we're going to shuffle a few more times on these. One more time. And the one thing I didn't know, we're, we're going to be coming up to that new moon soon. I did not look to see what date that was, but I do believe that we were about two weeks ago, this coming Monday, we were at the full moon. So the new moon will be coming up. And that is when we start requesting. Okay, these are three cards. They are reversed, so strong stuff. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notification. You help keep me going, so thank you. First card, reversed. Ten of Earth. I like this one. Ten of Earth is like happy Gemini, happy home. You know, Earth energy is, of course, our Capricorn, our Taurus. It is also our Virgo. Solid energy, job, career, work, home. You know, you know something, someone you can actually touch. It's very tangible. Tens, transitioning. And so it's not, not, or you're going into, or you've been moving into. Now you're getting ready to move forward with something. But the Ten of Earth is very much happy home, happy life, happy happiness of surrounding. So this is going to be one of those weekends that I would kind of say stay at home or stay nearby your house or stay nearby, you know, your area or stay in an area that you feel very connected with in the 
um, you know, in the grounding type of energies, okay? It could also be have the people that ground you be around you also. But this feels very, this is very lovely. This is very, um, you know, calming at the same time. So I do feel my Geminis with all of this. You know, this is, again, coming together, connecting with a happy home. Happy home, happy Gemini. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. So here we go. So it's not necessarily huge, huge energy, but it's very kind, it's very comforting, and it's very real energy. Next card is reversed. Ace of Water. So now we get into the emotional energies, and we have a 101. Remember, ones, new beginnings, new starts. Zero is actually source, God, higher power energy too. Now, water is our Scorpio, it is our Pisces, and it's our Cancer energy. Fluid, very emotional. This is going into, you know, so whatever this is, you're feeling more secure about your life, you're feeling more secure about maybe your residence, where you're living, the relationships around you. It's making you so that you can move into something that's a little bit more risky, but more into that um, relationship type of energy. Now, again, yes, relationship can be your work, your job. It can be your romance. It can be personal. It can also be your family or home. I feel like this is just kind of like this. There is some stability with this, and it's moving you to be able to connect, commit, it's, you know, and I don't necessarily say you're going to necessarily commit, commit, but it's, it's, it's allowing you to feel that there's opportunities. It's allowing you to possibly put your heart out there a little bit more. Protect your heart, but it's allowing you to put it out a little more. Okay, so the Ace of Water, falling in love, or the resurgence of a relationship. Remember that Mercury retrograde brings people back into our lives spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, a new home. Okay, so let's go on. Our next card, reversed again, the four of earth. That's about stability. So whatever this is, it's about stability. Now, four, stable, leadership, organization, earth energy. Again, there is a little bit of reciprocity. There is a little give, a little take, a little give. It could be negotiations. It could just be talking things through a little bit. It could also be that maybe some things you're spending a little more money on, but you're not spending enough on somewhere else. There is a little give and take with this energy. And that, you know, sometimes you have to balance things out. Maybe you've been holding on, and now it's time for you to let go a little more. But the Four of Earth is also, besides stability, you know, in, in that earthly or tangible realm, there, it's also having good business sense, too. So you're clear-headed. There is some clear-headed. There is an emotional attachment or emotional energy here, which can kind of get you a little bit off, but you are surrounded by this earth energy that's keeping you balanced. Okay, being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. So now you have a 1014. Interesting with that. Now remember, sometimes it could be 4101. Now... Um, sometimes you drop that, so it could be the 411 also, so you might be getting the information you need to hear. All right, let's go on and see. We're going to use my, you know, my um, Rider Tarot cards, which I don't generally, I don't use with this deck, but it just felt like needed to needed me to do it, so we're doing it. We're just going to pick one. The Page of Swords. Interesting with that, too, because now Page is Earth energy underlying. So a lot of that has to do with job energy. So work energy, home energy, tangible energy. But Pages believe anything is possible. Sword energy is air energy, which is your energy, Libra and Aquarius. So it, there's so many new opportunities happening. You just have to figure out where you want to go with them. What do you want to do with them? You know, and that might also be, again, that ace. That might be that, you know, now that there's some stability around you, surrounding you, there might be some emotional, um, some emotional fluid energies, fluid opportunities coming. And the Page of Sword thinks things through also. So even though the Page is, you know, is very, oh, yeah, let's go do this, the Page of Swords does 
weigh and balance a little bit more. So I like that for you. So a lot of it, you will be thinking things through, you, but at the same time, there's a lot of excitement happening. There's, there's stability, but there's a lot of excitement and fun happening at the same time. Okay? Okay. Let's go on and see what crystal or energy for my Geminis we have. Here we go. Okay, two cards popping for you also. At least that's what I pulled out. These are, neither of these are reversed. Shungite. Oh, I love Shungite. Protection from modern ills. Grounding. Everyday healing. Purifying. It's not an expensive stone either, so. There, last one. Oh, and then we go to the expensive one. <laughs> Moldavite. Healing. Protection. Telepathy. Connection. That little puppy, yeah, that that has that has some that has some cost to it. That has some dollar signs to it. Okay, so my Gemini's. It feels really good. It feels it feels comfortable. It feels you know there's some stability. There's happy home, happy Gemini, and yet there it it, it puts you in a position where you can now um, start you know start new start anew again. Okay, okay. Anyway, my Gemini's. Remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell, notifications, keep me moving, keep me going. But most of all, no matter what this old world throws at us, always know, my Geminis, that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.